nobody else. She also must convince you that Smelly Toys is a co copy of this unique design. Now, uh, Blake represents Smelly Toys. He only has to convince you of one thing. Either that this is not unique, that this is just a generic puppy. It doesn't belong to Sensi or anybody. Or he's got to convince you that even if it is unique, this is not a copy. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, it's going to be very boring for you jurors. I'm sorry, that's just what real life is. <laughs> you get to listen as these lawyers make their statements and ask questions of the witness. All right, Miss Katie, please stand and make your best argument to the jurors why you think Sensi should win. I think Sensi should win because they're the ones who came out with the, um, like the packet, like the, the Sensi beads. Yes, those Sensi bead things. And they both have zippers on them on the back to put like the stuff on them. And Anything else? No. Okay, thank you. Blake, please stand and address the jury. Say why you think Smelly Toys should win this case. Well, I think Smelly Toys should win because they both have different textures and they both have way different smells. Like if you feel this. Feel oh, this. I'm not deciding. These guys are deciding. <laughs> feel this. Yeah, feel this one. They're different, right? They both have different textures. So, and they both have different smells. So, um, this one is different because it has a different texture. It looks different. And this one is different. And it has a different smell than Sensi's. Anything else? Okay, Miss Katie, please call your first witness. Who is uh, De Darren Designer? Raise your hand. Introduce yourself to the jury. This is Darren. He is uh, an employee of Sensi. He is the person who designed uh, Patch the Dog. Go ahead, Katie. Ask your questions. When did you design this? Uh, wrong one. <laughs> When did you design? I worked on the internet for two months. First when, I, when did you design? I did 2017. I did, we didn't hear. Say that again. Patch the Dog was came out in 2017, huh? Very interesting. Jury, you paying attention? Okay. So do you have any other questions for him? Where did you get your inspiration from Patch the Dog? What? You looked at Build a Bear and designing Patch and Dog? Very interesting, Jerry. You paying attention to this? I like, I looked at similar things from Build a Bear and I customized one and I also found out and drew it out and I um, put like the small patches in. Um, what makes Patch the Dog unique? Um, is, um, the 
like white spots, like his white patches over here, and black brown patches on his back. What about the zipper in the back? The zipper makes it smell good with the like bean bag inside. His legs and arms are like really did Bill Bear have this thing? Okay, good job. Blake, do you want to ask some questions of uh, Darren, the designer from Sensi? Yes. Please stand. So, if you, why did you look at Bill the Bear to copy your, to make them into, and we're pretending we're in court with dogs? <laughs> Why did you um, make it those colors? Um, because that's how I like it. Okay, I have a few questions for the witness. How can you say that you didn't copy Build a Bear if you were looking at Build a Bear for ideas? So I look up images to see how the um, a stuffed animal dog would look, and I um, just wanted to see how like an idea would be like, so I could um, look how and what. Like, so it would give me ideas what, um, stuff the animals would look like, and then I do my own. How long have you worked for Sensi? Five years. But what did you do, where, where did you work before Sensi? Another company. Another company, as a designer. Another company. What did you make for that other company? Uh. What did you design for that other company? Stuffed animals. You designed other stuffed animals for that company? Did you ever design a stuffed puppy dog for that other company? No. Did you say no? Yes, I did make a stuffed puppy dog. You did? Did it look like Patch the dog? No. Oh, interesting. Blake, did you have another question for the witness? Yes. So, if you made um, Patch the Dog, why do you have to look on the Builder Bear to see one if you already made one? What? So, uh, so, if you made um, a dog with scents and stuff, isn't that exactly what Builder Bear does? They don't put senses in. You can. I know, but they don't have the zipper. Yeah? Well, no, they don't have the zipper, but they do have the senses. Just questions, counsel. No arguing with the witness. <laughs> Any other questions? No. All right. Thank you, witness. All right, now the defense is going to call Casey Creative, the designer for Smelly Toys. Would you raise your hand, Casey the Creative? Okay. Go ahead, Katie. Do you have questions for your for your designer, Casey? When did you create? Wait, I thought. Who's was this? No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I got it wrong. I'm right. Blake, you have questions for your designer, um, Casey.
Um, why did you make this, um, puppy dog thing? So both of them were made in 2017. Oh, so we don't know which one came first. Very interesting. Okay. Do you know what type of fabric you used? Um. No, I do not. Okay. What type of sense do you? What type of sense did you use? Vanilla. Do you want to ask questions of, of uh, Casey Creative? Sure. Where did you get the idea to create? Um, um, I got my idea from um, a bunch of other ideas that I saw. I got some from Sensi. You got some of your ideas from Sensi, is that what you said? Yes. <laughs> hmm, are you paying attention, Harry? <laughs> Sensi plus your imagination, huh? Okay, go ahead, Katie. Where did you get the zipper idea from? Um, I used my imagination for it. Any other questions? What ideas did you take from Sensi? Council, one last question. Was there a zipper on any of them? Um, yeah. Yes. Alright, very good, Council. No, nope, no more questions. So Council, you have now the chance to make your last comments to the jury. So Katie, why don't you go first and give your best argument based on what you've heard, what they've heard from the witnesses, why Sensi should win this case. Stand up. Yes. Because they got some good ideas from us, and <coughs> and they use like the same 
fab, they got the fabric from us. Okay, good job. Thanks, Katie. Blake, you want to say, stand up and say why you think Smelly Toy should win? Yes. Smelly Toy should win because, one, yes, we did copy some from them, but they also copied some from another group. So we, so they, so they also took some from some other ideas, um, mostly from them, but we used some from our imagination. And um, the fabric doesn't really look the same, and it doesn't feel the same. Good job. Okay, at this point, I'm going to invite the uh, attorney, the lawyers, and the witnesses to go with at least two adults and go to the conference room right next door while the jury deliberates. Actually, can I ask a question of Blake? Can you, you, you can't ask. Well, hold on. You, that's, that's great. I forgot about this. You can't ask a question of Blake because he's the attorney, but if you have a question for the witness, you can ask the witness. You want to ask the witness something? Well, I have a question about the product. Well, that would be, uh, yeah. be a question uh, for the witness. So, so which one? Uh, Casey, does your product have the little box with the stars in it on the back of the stuffed animal like the Sensi product does? No. Nope. Alright. That's a great question. Good job. Okay. Okay, wait, this is a lawyer. I got a swamp fish. Oh, beautiful fish.